Hey everyone, it's John. Got a little project going here. <sighs> Thought I would put a video up. You know, I got a lot. It's been really rewarding for me the rendezvous video that I did because um, I got a lot of comments on it that said this helped me. Thank you. So I want to try to do, you know, when I do some research on a subject and then implement it, I want to try to do a video whenever I do that so I can share the wealth. But um, I'll tell you my project I got going here. We're doing siding on the house. I'm doing it myself. And um, got to this wall. Went to start on it. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show it with the camera, but the uh, wall sill plate is rotted. Um, it's just a slab, just a concrete slab foundation here on the garage. And uh, the sill plate was sitting right on top of that, and it rotted. Um, I think the garage has probably been here since circa... Uh, mid 70s ish um but uh yeah so because and because the siding is all wrecked down there i can't nail my starter strip to it so what i need to do is uh jack up the outer wall replace the sill plate and the bottom plate of the wall um fasten that back down and then i need to replace uh, probably at least six inches maybe eight on the bottom there so I have something to nail to. Um, so uh, this will be part one or two in this video series. Um, so I'm telling you what, to show you what I'm doing. <clears throat> I am going to jack up this wall, get the bottom, of, bottom uh, studs off of the plates by at least half an inch, probably more. Then I'm going to cut those boards out and replace them with good walmanized board and with a um, uh, foam seal. Um, step one for this process was to rip off all the drywall so I can get at the inside. Step two is to install these, sorry I hit the button. Step two is to uh, install these stud hangers. They're like 50 cents each and I've got them screwed in the side, whoops, I've got them screwed in the side and nailed at the top. And that's uh, so when I jack up this wall, the studs don't separate from the top plate. Um, <clears throat> now step three, I'm going to be jacking this wall in three places. So step three was I needed some uh, jack stands, if you will. Some people use uh, lolly jacks, lally jacks, lolly jacks, whatever they're called, the, uh, those steel poles that you can screw up and down. I don't really have money for that. They're like 80 bucks a piece. So I just got some $9, 8 foot uh, four by fours. I bought four of them and I'm going to be jacking it up in three spots. Three to act as jack stands and one that I'll be using to jack with. <clears throat> so I've got this one cut to length so that it <sighs> fits just right on my bottle jack. So I'm going to jack up the front corner here. Get my jack stand in place, then lower the jack, go to the middle, jack that up, put the jack stand in place, lower it down, and do the rear. Then after that, this plate will be free. I can cut it out. You can see how rotted it is. I mean, it's just, you know, crumbling with my hands. And that's the upper one, which is in better shape. The 2x4s are in pretty good shape, so I'm not doing nothing with those. Um, if, uh, if these were weak at all, I would sister board them, put a sister 2x4, probably 6 or 8 foot right alongside it to strengthen it. But these are in pretty good shape, so I'm going to keep them. And then um, I'll let the uh, wall back down. I'll toenail these studs back in. I will put um, uh, tap cons into the cement through these boards and uh, then last but not least I will cut um, probably eight inches off the bottom of this and replace it with <clears throat> some brand new um, 
whatever it's called. I can't think of the word. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the project. Um, tonight I was able to get all those jack stands cut to length and the jacking poles cut, pole cut to length. I've got these two by fours uh, because there's four of them, eight foot each. That's the uh, that's the width of the garage. So what I'm going to do is uh, nail those to the outside um, so I can make a nice straight cut with my saw. I'm going to use them as a, a guide um, and then I'll pull them right back off. And then I'm probably going to have to replace that, um, that bottom six or eight inches all the way around the house. It's in pretty rough shape. So that's the project, guys. And then, uh, well, you can see that I had the... Um, had all the trim vinyl wrapped and I had fascia and soffit installed looks really nice um, I'll show you the front of the house as, it's, as it is right now you can see right here um, the guy that I had do the fascia and soffit had to do that because again there was no good wood to nail his um, his uh, aluminum wrap to so I had him do the, the cantilevers on the front and back, um, but I'm going to do the rest. So I might not need to do it everywhere. It's actually probably in decent shape. That's it's not bad up here. It's not too bad. I think I can nail that. So I might have to do it all the way around. We'll see. So yeah, this is an anticipation of hopefully getting the house up for sale again. So. I'd like to get this done in the next three, four weeks. So keep your fingers crossed for me. And Dave, if you get any free time, I can use an extra hand. All right, thanks. Part two coming this weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I'm planning on getting this wall done. So I'll see you then. Bye.